Gothic microarchitecture is a design phenomenon widely observed in late medieval European art. It describes sculptural works that emulate the forms and structural composition of monumental Gothic architecture. Gothic microarchitecture was seamlessly integrated into a wide range of church artifacts and miniature structures, including reliquaries, baldachins, sacrament houses, and superstructures of altarpieces, realized in wood, metal, and stone. The designs of these sophisticated structures exhibit complex three dimensional geometries. However, the methods used by artisans remain a mystery, as their design principles were orally transmitted and never formally recorded. With only a compass and straightage at their disposal, how did Gothic craftsmen conceive and execute such striking creations? The Basel goldsmith drawings in the Kunstmuseum Basel open a rare window into this design process. These late 15th century drawings were ground plans or top view projections of micro architectural elements. These top view drawings are certainly a pleasure to look at. Yet lacking corresponding side views, the structures encoded in these designs are unintelligible to the modern eye. The methods for transforming these designs into 3D structures has eluded scholars thus far. In this work, we aim to mathematically formulate the geometric principles underlying the modeling of Gothic microarchitecture and develop an algorithm to reconstruct 3D structures from their 2D ground plans. We begin with a specific Basel goldsmith drawing known as the teaching sheet. This is the only surviving drawing that includes 12 examples with paired top and side views. The teaching sheet serves as our Rosetta Stone, providing the following insights. Marked vertices are ground points with zero height. The end points of the 3D curves have vertical tangents. The curves in the side view projection resemble OG arcs, one of the most characteristic elements of the Gothic style. An OG arc consists of two circular arcs turning in opposite directions. More importantly, the point where the two circular arcs meet corresponds to an intersection point in the top view. Based on these observations, we formulate positional and tangential constraints to compute the 3D curve networks in the main structure of Gothic microarchitecture. Here we show the reconstruction results for each example shown in the teaching scheme. Our formulation is simple yet effective, allowing for interactive modeling. Here we show our web-based implementation. Users can retrace the lines of a given design with specified symmetry groups. Our algorithm computes an initial parameterization for the curve height, which can be modified from the side view. Another layer can then be added for the next curve, and the user can adjust its initial height. We repeat the process to complete the top view drawing. The final result aligns with the characteristics of Gothic architecture. Our formulation also supports the design of arcs in the top view. The reconstructed 3D curves will follow a bi arc in their height profile while maintaining the curved top view projection. Here we show more results reconstructed from the Basel drawings with a curved top view. Our user interface is designed to be intuitive, enabling users to reconstruct Gothic microarchitecture objects even from a partial side view. Our reconstruction of a Gothic chancel aligns precisely with the 3D scan. Our approach is both intuitive and effective, allowing users to achieve results with fewer than 10 clicks in our user interface. This simplicity makes it accessible to non-technical experts, like art historians, who can easily incorporate it into their research. Our formulation can also be viewed as a novel modeling language and can be used for curve-dominant freeform design. Please see our paper for more technical details. Thanks for your attention.